Welcome to Saints on Cinema. I'm Tim Wilde, and tonight I'm doing a wild review on X-Men Origins Wolverine. This is my preparation to go see the new X-Men movie uh, this weekend, and I'm going to be burning through all of the X-Men movies, and I'm going to do a quick review of all of them. This is going to be my wild review, or Tim's take, where I have two minutes to tell you what I think about it. Um, starting now. Um, basically, I think this movie is quite overrated, underrated, excuse me, I know everyone bags on this movie, it's, uh, it's an unpopular movie in the X-Men franchise, um, but I think there's a lot of really good things about it. I think there are some really exciting scenes, the opening sequence with uh, young Wolverine and Sabretooth are really good. The opening credits, where, they're, where it shows the montage of them running through all the, the, the wars as they go through history and showing their development as, their, as characters and kind of their relationship. Um, I think that's one of the best opening credit sequences in any movie probably my top five i just really enjoy how well done that is and what the what the story is being told behind the characters in just the credit scenes um the interaction with him and his girlfriend that everyone always rips on that they don't think it's a very powerful love story they think it's kind of dumb um the motive for him going on the adventure is really good his interactions with sabertooth his fights with sabertooth his interaction with gambit even though gambit's powers are portrayed really stupid and very just dumb for the character the the, uh, the acting the the character itself is is pretty cool. It's cool to still see Gambit and his little part and the rest of the story is really good. Striker seeing his uh, um, experiments on mutants and everything that's not super cool, especially when you have X two where you're like really interested in the background of his relationship with him, but. I mean, come on, you have Wolverine coming out and becoming Weapon X and everything and, and escaping the dam and the, the sequence with him at the farm. The motorcycle versus the helicopter sequence is super cool. The effects are not uh, kept up to date, but not kept up to date, but they don't <laughs> hold up as well as they used to, especially with the claws. I think even the original X-Men movie, some shots of the claws look better than this one. But I mean, overall, it's a really good movie and you got to think... Um, this is a good origin story, even if you know fans of the comic books are not like super um, thrilled about its portrayal or the way they do the character. But I mean, no one argues with Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. My time is up, but just overall, I think that X Men Origins Wolverine is uh, could have been the first of a really great chain of movies where they focus on individual characters, and it was multiple characters. There's some continuity issues, but. That's fine. That It was fine for what it was before more movies came. I think uh, everyone ripped on this movie for the wrong reasons. Deadpool, sorry. Everyone hates Deadpool at the end, but the first act with Deadpool in it is awesome. You can't tell me that's not just as good as anything in the Deadpool movies. That's all I'm going to say. Anyway, this was uh, my wild review of X-Men Origins Wolverine. And, I don't know, hope you liked it.